Uh, Gaffer, come back, come back, victory. That one. How did you see it? Game of two halves, really obvious. But um, yeah, they were. I thought Wimbledon played well first half, scored two goals early on um, in the game where we thought we probably could have defended better. We just didn't have enough probably desire to stop the crosses in the wide areas or to fend the box properly. It was a bit sloppy from us. Um, thought that Wimbledon were a threat. The big lad up front was a real handful. They played some really good stuff. Felt for the la- after about 35 minutes we, we changed shape and got a grip of the game. And then conceded another really poor goal but, uh, from poor defending. And then we're thinking, oh, that might be it, might be game over. Um, but we rolled the dice at half time. We got obviously a little bit more quality onto the pitch. That was sitting on the bench and they produced the goods and fair play to the, lad- to the lads. It was a great reaction and we've gone on and gone through, which is great. Yeah, you made the three changes. Um, it's surely not as simple as just making three changes and, and producing that second half performance. What what are the sort of things that you can think about doing when you're three nil down in a game at half time? Just be positive. There's no point in worrying what's behind you um, and protecting anything because you've just got to get on the front foot and get going. Uh, one of the, the changes was already planned. Obviously Nigel was coming on for Dan and they were make they were playing 45 minutes each. Um, but getting Morgan on there um, and getting Adam on there. Give us a little bit more experience. So Butch went to left back. Uh, Rands gives us a bit of energy in midfield, and Morgan gives us the quality that we know. So that's not taking anything away from the three lads that came off. It's just they just the, the top quality players. Um, I've just felt we got down that left hand side great. With my, having two left footers there, we were for more forward thinking with Butch and, and Jack put some good balls in, and, and Big Sam scored three great goals. So yeah, uh, really positive. Um, I felt after we got the third goal, there was a few minutes left and we might have just mm. snuck it. It looked like we were the only team who were going to go and win it, but it had to be on penalties and Carl the Dragon done his job. <laughs> <laughs> Carl the Dragon does his job, yeah. Um, a hat-trick for Cosgrove. You, you mentioned he, he scored the goals, first one of the season for us as well, against a former side. He must be pretty buzzed by that, I imagine. I think he'd be delighted, yeah. I heard um, one of their fans shouting Wimbledon reject <laughs> as he was walking up to take his pen, which was his fourth goal of the night, so... Yeah, he must be really pleased. I think it, it's a first half, I thought Sam did OK. Um, defensively, for the first goal, I think he could have done a bit better for us, and we said that to him at half-time. He's got to get goal side of big huddling and not be so easy, but again, his reaction, second half, he, he put himself in good positions, scored three goals, maybe could have had another couple, um, and done great. Uh, young Oscar as well, similarly, we said to him at half-time, he's got to defend better and sense danger, and as I said this last time we played him, after he made a mistake... I like his character. He never, never shakes. He doesn't, sh- no, he doesn't shrink or go into his shell. And he was, he was brilliant second half. Him and Nigel were really aggressive and kept getting us the ball back. So yeah, really pleasing night. And as you said, you kind of when the third went in, there was there was time to get it, and you kind of yeah. felt the momentum was all with. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I did feel that. Yeah, and I think Sam went close with a header. And we put young Freddie on to try and um, give us a little bit more attack and threat as well. We created a few half chances, um, but it just wasn't to be, and, and obviously uh, it goes to a shootout. Now, again, with the, with the quality in the squad that we've got, we've got three or four real good penalty takers. Um, Ryan Hardy, we would, would have expected to slot it. He's been in real good form, but keep him made a good save, and then everybody else kept the composure, and as I say, Callum produced two saves for us, which was a two, yeah? Just one. Just one save, and the lad went over the bar. Um, so, yeah, great, and... Now we're in the attic, go to the um, Bristol Rovers and we're two games from Wembley, which is mad. Yeah, that was going to be my final point. The run goes on in this competition. We know the opposition, two games from Wembley, it's getting closer. It is getting closer and I think you could see tonight that the standards get... The, mm. I know Wimbledon didn't play on Saturday, so they could probably play a stronger team than, than maybe they have done in the previous rounds. Um, I'm sure Bristol Rovers will do the same. Um, you know, it's, it's two games from a real big day out for everyone, so yeah, we'll go there pick a team that we think we can go and try and win the game sure Bristol Rovers will be the same, it'll be a feisty encounter like it always is and, and we look forward to a, um, a quarter final, yeah, which is good